Live from the Indiana Live Casino, it's the search for the next face of MyIndy TV 10 seconds, each one of you, to tell us why you want to be the face of MyNDTV. Zuri, go start with Austin. My name is Austin. I'm from Indianapolis, and I believe that I should be the face because I think that since I'm from here, nobody can represent or have fun the way that we do. My name is Tracy from Indianapolis, and I think I should be the next face of MyNDTV 23 because good things come in medium-sized packages. Hey guys, it's Danielle, and I'm from, where else? Right here in Indianapolis, Indiana. This born and bred Hoosier should be the next face of my Indy TV. Hi, I'm Taylor, and I'm from Sheridan, Indiana, a real small town, and I believe I should be the next face of my Indy TV because I'm funny, entertaining, and adorable. <laughs> Hailing from Kokomo, Indiana, I am Jacqueline. I may be a Boilermaker by choice, but a Hoosier at heart. I'm Shyla, and I should be the next face of Miami TV because I'm your down-home country girl. Hey, I'm Jaleesa from Maryville, Indiana, and this is and has always been my dream job since I was a little girl. Hi, I'm Melina from Indianapolis, and I want to explore your city your way. That's why I should be the face, so I can add a little extra spice to your day. I'm John, and I love my hometown of Indianapolis, and I want you to see it the way I see it, and I promise to try and get Chuck Norris on the show. Hello, Sunshines. I'm Kianga from Indianapolis, and I should be the face because I'm energetic, I am adventurous, and I have all the qualities to showcase Indiana. All right, thank you very much. And that was just a small sampling 
of Just the faces. You know, over the last three weeks, we have really put them to the grind. We have tested them to see if they have what it takes we to had do this position. Out, Andy. That's they right. showed up and showed out. But you know what's really telling? They're audition tapes. Mm. Roll it, guys. <laughs> Austin. Why this hairstyle? Just for that reason right there, for people to talk to me. So it's an icebreaker. Okay. Something that gets people to talk and a lot of people that are older than me come back and they're like, oh, I haven't seen that in a long time. They come talk to me and you know, you just get a lot of people to speak to you that way. Austin, how did you do in there? I feel like I did pretty well. A lot, a lot went on in there. Okay, There's, a lot went on. A lot went on. Well, I mean, I, I had a conversation with them. They found out I was a dancer when I shared it with them. So went into a dance contest, went into teaching some of the judges how to dance, but I feel so like they- you busted. A move. I, I might have busted a few things. You need yeah. me to bust a move right here. I mean, it's just, you know. I mean, don't make me break. Oh. You know, just a little something. And Danielle. Well, I'm born and bred in Indiana, so I am a Hoosier. So, and I love this city. Love it. I was uh, even had the chance to go to New York, but I wanted to stay in Hoosier. That Midwest charm is all about me. Uh, and I think there are so many great things to see in Indy and so many native Hoosiers that don't know what there is to see. And I can't wait to represent and show them where it is. How did it go? It went very well. They yeah. are, uh, I have a loud voice, so they're like, woo! It, it kind of I don't need a microphone at all, yeah. Jacqueline. I have dedicated my entire life to serving my community, and I think that that is a huge part of being the face of a television or a news anchor is to serve your community. Um, and so that's what I'm passionate about, and I want to share and make a difference with my fellow Hoosiers, and not only uh, bring recognition to the great state of the Hoosiers, but give back to this wonderful state that has given so much to me. So how did it go in there? It was really exciting. We talked about ice cream, and I did a few tap dances for them. Did you, okay, yeah. so how did ice cream come up in the conversation? They asked me how I was beating the heat, and I told them yesterday I, I was caught in the Walmart section with the frozen foods kind of airing out and buying popsicles. So. Okay, that's not creepy at all. No, not at all. Yeah. Jalisa. So I just love being around people. It's my true passion to do it. And so I think this would be the perfect job for me. It's my third year in Indianapolis, and I feel like there's so much more for me to learn. All right, how did it go in there? I think it went amazing, hopefully. They were so nice. My nerves went down as soon as I went in there. Yeah, so I, I hope it went well. You were pretty nervous going in. How I got nervous. I feel good about it. Yeah. They were so nice, so personable, and I love that. If you're nice to me, I'll be nice right back. Right. So they are so nice. John. I'm looking forward to showing people my hometown of Indy. And I was hoping that one of you guys could teach me how to dub it, because I still don't know. We are talking about that outside. You got to do it. It's kind of like, bro. yeah, man. <laughs> So what were the judges asking you? Uh, well, the first off was we started actually talking about dancing. They asked why I was here, and yeah. I said to have fun and teach me how to dougie. And I don't know how to dougie. You don't know? How, well, see, I don't know how to dougie either. So really? I feel like we need to learn how to dougie okay, together. Let me show you what they showed me. Uh, show me how to okay. teach me how to dougie. Okay, it was something like this. A little bit of sway, and she's like, teach me how to dougie. Teach me, teach me, teach me how to dougie. Bring it up. And and Throw down for them. And oh, snap, down. and then you threw down. And then I you did. threw down. Kianga. I was just walking through Bra Ripple uh, yesterday and was just in awe of how beautiful Indianapolis is. Just the things that we have to offer. We have a great nightlife. Um, there's live music. There's always a concert. I mean, there's just a little bit of everything to do. What makes me unique was my name. So that kind of cleared okay, the way what's for your me. Name? My name is Kianga. Kianga, what does that mean? Kianga Asali. Kianga means sunbeam. Asali means honey. So. Wow, so you're just a sunbeam full of you honey. You know, and I stick to you. Sunbeam full of I honey. I stick to you. Malena. I love going to festivals. I love local bands, going to things like that. I've been to Indians games, going to see the Pacers. And I love when you go around and you see people, you know, like Rika, or people that you see out and about doing things here that are local celebrities. It's really exciting to be able to do that, as opposed to in a big city, you really don't get that. So I wrote down some key points mm -hmm. of things that I wanted to talk about, yeah. and then I wrote myself a little script, and then 10 minutes before going in, I threw it out, and I was like, right. oh no, what am I gonna say? And I just went in there, and I was myself, and I was just like, whatever. That's all you gotta do, <laughs> whatever, whatever. Let's do it. Hopefully whatever works. And I said, pick me for the face of my NDTV and I guarantee fun. Guaranteed fun, can't get better than that. <laughs> All right. Shyla. I'm very down home. That's something that not a lot of people have. I came from the country. 13, 13,000 chickens in four barns, poultry farm is what I grew up on. Um, I fish, 
I uh, actually went fishing yesterday, only caught four bass. Not very happy about it, but um, that's what I'm eating tonight for dinner. Seriously, I got to let them know me, and uh, I got to sign. I know sign language, so. So, bust something out for me real quick. Okay, all I saw was this. In that want, that's want. Oh, want. Okay, all right. That that's works. want. So I want. You want to be the the next face of an Indianapolis TV. Awesome. Taylor. My dream job is to be a late night talk show host, like a David Letterman, Jay Leno, Conan O'Brien. Um, yeah, my favorite by far. Um, so my, that's the reason I want to do TV. I feel like radio has given me a little jump start, and TV is the next best thing for me. The next level. I'm just gonna keep going, keep going. I got big dreams. Did I hear you say that you feel like a baller? I, I, I was, I came out pretty confident. I was shaking like crazy, so I hope the cameras didn't catch that, but I felt, I felt pretty good. Usually I stumble over my answers, but they were just rolling off the tongue. Yeah, it was great. Tracy. And when you look at my face, I want you to remember three words. Adventurous, ambitious, Asian. And I always enjoy finding the next best hot roast. So how are you feeling about the audition? Were you nervous when you went in there? I was very nervous, shaking a little bit, yeah. but I feel that it went the best that I could have expected. So. The best that it could have expected, okay. Mm -hmm. Actually, I am gonna ask you to do a cartwheel out of the shot. So can you just show me kind of sort of what you did? Oh God, here we go. Smooth, that was nice, that was very impressive. And now that cartwheel was impressive. What was also impressive is the way one of our finalists got here. I'm here with Taylor. You were the fan favorite. You got here a little bit differently. Tell me how that happened. Well, Zuri, let me tell you. It was tough. I, I had a lot of my friends on Facebook and Twitter uh, click the link, send the link out. It was, it was going crazy. I had the radio station I work for talk about it. Um, so I couldn't have done this without my friends and family. And obviously it worked. You were picked from those 23 to, to make it to this top 10 from NDTV.com. Now, how are the other nine finalists treating you? Are you like the black sheep since you came in a little different, or are they pretty cool? I'm going to be honest. They, they pick on me a lot. Uh, they make fun of me, but no, I'm just... I don't believe it. <laughs> they've been absolutely great, and it's going to be a sad day to see us all go. Great. Andy, what are you doing up there? All right, well, next up, we're going to have more from the auditions as the search for the face of INDTV continues. Don't go away, guys. Uh -huh.